the ladies have been begging, and I'm finally giving in. All right, fine. I'll give you animal news. Please do. First story comes to us from Columbia, South Carolina. Hmm. People in South Carolina, in this particular city of Newberry, it's hmm. in it's northwest of Columbia. They've been calling the Newberry County Sheriff's Office. Um, hello. <laughs> This is me. I'm over at Newberry. <laughs> okay. And I got a, there's a loud siren sound. It's a roar, kind of siren, little roaring. Come over <laughs> and help me out. It's and a the, mountain lion, isn't it? No. Parrot? <laughs> no. Uh, they're, apparently, uh, the town of Newberry is under a rock because <laughs> it's cicadas. Oh, <laughs> wow. <laughs> Siren. They've missed every the news story siren. about the cicada invasion that's on every five seconds. Uh, mm-hmm. Hello, could you help? There's a siren. Help, <laughs> police. <laughs> it's if not the police you. come, there's yeah. going to be more sirens. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> oh, these people. Okay, here's another one for you. I think Daria will especially like this one. Not, not the first part. Just to be clear, a family cat mysteriously vanished. Carrie Stevens Clark said she tried everything to find her. She put uh, paper flyers up, social media posts, searching every nook and cranny in Utah. All the crannies? Yeah, lots Mm -hmm. of them in Utah in particular. Uh, And they were looking all over the place, couldn't find her. On April 17th, a week after the cat's name, by the way, is Galena. A week after Galena disappeared, she got a call. Hello? (laughs) You're so mad that I'm doing voices. (laughs) Hello, um, I've got your cat. I'm 600 oh. miles away. Oh my what? gosh. <laughs> oh my. She went on a little trip. Six like, see ya. Hundred <laughs> miles away. She's probably so tired. In California. Oh my gosh. Oh, she just went on a little jaunt. <laughs> well, kinda. <gasps> Did she get on a truck or something? A train? Turns out what happened is unbeknownst to the family who apparently ordered a lot of things from Amazon they didn't want. The cat snuck into a box of Amazon returns. <laughs> oh, no. And oh, was no. shipped 600 oh, miles to California. Thing. Wow. <laughs> it's fine. I'm it's glad fine. she's okay. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> How many things are you returning to Amazon that you could also have a cat you don't see when you close it? Yeah, when you pick it up, it doesn't, like, make any noise. Or... Right. And the, the shifting And you weight. pass it to the little guy at the desk. Yeah, the few times we've moved, every time we seal a box... We double and triple check to make sure there's not a cat in there. Really? Mm. They love boxes. We have a box that is four years old. We cannot throw away because <laughs> one of the cats loves to sleep in that particular it's box. Bed. Hmm. But you would think it would Look start going like, and like <laughs> if she fell asleep. <laughs> uh, no. <Wow>. Like, <laughs> Meanwhile, no chilling. one's dog ever gets shipped in an Amazon package. <laughs> <laughs> no, they wouldn't allow. For you Garfield fans out there, it makes a lot more sense now that Garfield's able to ship Nermal all the way to Absolutely. Abu Dhabi. Yeah. <laughs> Get her out of here. Wait, you knew that one? My sister was a massive Garfield fan. Oh, wow. I'm like, Remember, I made a Garfield reference a couple weeks ago with Rob Finn. Look at our generational divide. 15 years mm. shrunk down right there. Oh, yeah. Aren't we great? Final story comes to us from Longwood, Florida. You ever been to Longwood, Daria? You're I have from... not. Hmm. All right, well, um, Longwood residents, uh, Lady Gutierrez and Daniel Bula, by the name, by the way, her name is Lady Gutierrez. I didn't make that First up. First name, not, Lady. Yeah, L-A-I-D-Y. Is that how you'd say that? Yeah. I don't know. Lady, maybe? Either way, Lady and Daniel were hungry, but didn't feel like going anywhere. So they ordered Uber Eats from Taco Bell. Who wants to bother going all the way to Taco Bell? You don't know how far it is. I don't. That's correct. You can just wait for soggy tacos now. <laughs> yeah, same I thing. Mean, it's nothing worse than an old taco from Taco Bell, or a new one. <laughs> you order crunchy and it comes there, not crunchy. Yeah, you ever had that? I've had it all the no. time. If, if you get like they get a family pack or whatever, you bring it home, open it up. There isn't one hard shell, because I'm so authentic in the way I consume Mexican food. <laughs> uh, there isn't one hard shell that isn't soggy at the bottom. Not one. Mm-hmm. But but I digress. That's not what this is about. So they order their Taco Bell. And they open the door when they get a notification that it's there. It's gone. Totally gone. Nothing. Porch pirates. Kinda. Did a dog steal it? Mm, not a, a dog. Bear. 
a bear. bear. They oh look on their ring doorbell. Camera shows it shows a driver dropping off the food before a black bear wanders onto the porch. Oh, he's gonna have tummy issues. Takes it and just walks away. <laughs> mm. So the, all this well, happened in the time it took them to get their notification and go to the door. Yep. Oh my gosh. <laughs> the, the couple's niece even said the bear took the soda. Well, he was he's thirsty. Like, yeah. He's like, I'll take that. <laughs> And <laughs> walks away. It's like it's like Yogi Bear. <laughs> hey, hey boo boo. We had a picnic to get to. <laughs> <laughs> it is uh, eight fifty eight now. Oh, you know what? I was gonna play a song, but no, I'm not because it's too late. How Sorry. about another story? No, that's okay. How about another story? Florida man from Hollywood, Florida. Yes. Been to Hollywood, Florida? Have not. Did you go anywhere when you lived in Florida? <laughs> I had all the things I needed. With the, I had Orlando, I had St. Augustine. I didn't need to go anywhere else. Okay. Well, this uh, Florida man, he had an experience you probably wouldn't want. He he gets up on Saturday morning, walks into the bathroom, opens mm. the lid of the toilet, and finds... A snake. Cockroach. <laughs> a squirrel. <laughs> Alligator. Gator. Could you imagine? Ooh. Another person. <laughs> <laughs> Boo! The, the other, <laughs> His wife the scared other him. Florida man. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> a cat from Utah. <laughs> a giant lizard. Oh. There's a big lizard. Oh, no. Because no. he jumped back out uh, about four feet yeah. and called animal control because he was so scared. How big was mm-hmm. this lizard? Yeah, there's a lot of lizards, but they're small little guys. Yeah, they're cute. So, just describe this to me. Daria's in Florida, living there, minding her own business, not traveling anywhere outside of where she lives. <laughs> she opens the toilet, sees a lizard, and goes, oh, cute. Just another Tuesday, honestly. Yeah, really? geckos, those little ones. Uh, yeah, we found them in the house all the time. Mm-hmm. Sometimes the cats would bring them in, sometimes they just wander in. Not uncommon. Did the cats bring them into play, or were they no longer with us? Uh, no, um, few one, choice. One, one of the cats is a, he's sadistic and he would just hold it and not let it go. <laughs> you said you're mine now. You're not a good salesman for cats being liked by people. <laughs> he's just ornery. <laughs> My right. sister opened the toilet once to a bloated squirrel. Oh, <laughs> oh no. no. At least she didn't sit down first. Sometimes people are not looking. She was traumatized. I bet she was. <laughs> I'm traumatized is. hearing about it. Mm-hmm. She probably looks every time. Probably like, I just ask her. cautiously <laughs> checks.